for the Wildcats. Washington has had solid help D and rotation. Their offense has just been a bit off. They've got to find some offense. We'll see if they can do it here. They're right in this game. Coming into this one, a 41 net. Still hopes of making the NCAA tournament. Well, according to Charlie Cream and his bracketology, both of these teams are next four out. This is a must win for both teams. Washington with four ranked wins, three of those on the road this year. They had a few losses that we weren't thrilled about, but still believe they can get it done. Because Warren Schwartz get going. Clock down to one. Schwartz, Pueyo. It's at a block to the uh, stat line. <laughs> We've watched Pueyo play defense for five years. She's been yep. exceptional. She's made it to the final four, to the final game against Stanford. Here's some bracketology from the great Charlie Cream with ESPN, the projected number one seeds, UCLA and Stanford, USC. How about the season that USC yeah. has had? Juju Watkins, Oregon State. No one saw this coming except for Scott Ruick and his squad, Colorado, Utah. Yep, and these teams here fighting to keep their seasons going a little bit longer. The curl from Blakely, and the rebound by Daniels, and she is hounded, and a takeaway. <laughs> Just, hi, I'd like to introduce myself. And Tina Langley up, looking to the officials, wanting a whistle and a foul on Arizona. Our trio tonight, Melissa Barlow, Bob Schofield, and Infinity Robinson. Pueyo's career high is seven steals. She's got five. <laughs> She's just the steal specialist. Using the screen, hits it. Calm, cool, Pueyo. Yeah, she doesn't show a lot of emotion. No. 12 points. Fifth year senior out of Spain. Let's bring Alyssa Charleston back in. A lot for us about Pueyo. Well, first off, that steal that you just saw, the team swarming, that was a big emphasis in Adia Barnes' last time out. Bring defensive intensity doesn't mean you have to foul. In terms of Pueyo, I talked to Jada Williams earlier, and she said, we're all just trying to be little mini Helenas. They call her the <laughs> cookie monster because she's got such good instincts. She's not the fastest in your face and all up in your grill. She's going to use her instincts and get around and jump passes. And they say it's really... They're all trying to be led by her and the way that she brings that energy. Uh, definitely so. I can understand why you'd want to be little Helena's. I didn't know people still watch Sesame Street. <laughs> Apparently. And the Cookie Monster, she's had her fill so far yeah, today. I mean, it's, a, it's a great analogy, isn't it? Skylar Jones does a nice job of being a mini, a mini Pueyo. Yeah, she does. That was on Isis Bay, her second. Free throws not dropping for Delea Daniels. Washington just two personal fouls for the game. Wow. And Arizona just seven. Daniels nine points, but one for four from the line. Hasn't been able to get the free throws to go her way. First personal on Schwartz. So eight minutes left. The winner of this would move on to face two seed USC tomorrow in her quarterfinals. Tina's trying to post inside. Good help, D, by the Huskies. Very nice job. Eleven on the shot clock. Quayle with the inbound. <laughs> High Archer, and they stick it. Blakely just such a great complimentary player. Defends at a high level. If she's open, she'll take the three. And Jada Williams bounces off the bench and says, all right. 
First points of the game for Blakely, and it's the largest lead for Arizona. Blakely comes off the bench. What a great kick out from Martinez. Seeks some open space. Boston play great team defense. You have to be loving this game. <laughs> Both teams getting out, getting the steals, forcing the turnovers. Arizona strung a few together to finally extend the lead out a bit. See if the Huskies have some answers. There's plenty of time left for them. No doubt. Five on the shot clock. Schwartz just needs a little extra room, but Cuello not giving it. Daniels got the shot off, but the board will go to Jones. Good point. There is no extra room. There is no room. She typically can get her shot off pretty quickly and easily, but the defense has been smothering on Lauren Schwartz. She leads the team in scoring, and it's been a tough night for her. Three points. Which is 12 a game. Well, shot no good. And Schwartz, her family from Union, Kentucky. One of two seniors, but again, only one senior able to play. She's it. And what a leader, what an unselfish leader she has been for this group, working with the young freshmen this year, putting in extra time. I mean, there's just arms, legs, bodies. And once again, the shot clock winding down. Daniels in the high post. Gets it. A little bit of a line drive, but they will take it. They all count. <laughs> 11 for Daniels. Huskies needed that. A string some stops. Switch up high, Martinez with the back cut. Swatted out of play, and they say it'll stay with the Wildcats. Nine on the shot clock. So important to pay attention to the shot clock. Nope, nothing's there. Way to just be disciplined in your form. Hold your release. All that extra work and effort paying off for Delea Daniels and her scoring ability this year. Clock down to two. Martinez, it's short. Huskies take it. Daniels gonna bring it up. And again, there's Jones. Hand out in the passing lane. Defense giving her the bucket. The mini Pueo is playing really well. <laughs> Just keeping up with her. Schwartz finally an open look and nothing but net. That's the shot we're used to seeing from Lauren Schwartz. She's got six. And that's how it felt to her, too. It's like finally she had a shot of oxygen. <laughs> uh, they have been smothering Lauren Schwartz. Five minutes remaining. Winner moving on to face USC tomorrow. It's a drive, but just short for Blakely. Now, Sellers out running. Defense getting back, though. Schwartz, the corner hits it. Another look, and that's great spacing and push. We talked about it early. She gets one. It's just heating up time. Eight points for Schwartz. Adia Barnes has seen enough. She wants the timeout. What was an 11-point lead has been cut to six. I mean, Lauren Schwartz just took out her big eraser and said, I'm taking five points off of that lead right now. Swing it. Late response from Jones. And the bench says, all oh, right, this is exactly what we needed. <laughs> Kelsey Plum in the house. Liking what she's seeing. The former Husky. Husky, great. Came to practice yesterday. Yeah. Met with the team. Yeah, lots of hugs, lots of love. And uh, you could tell everybody was just excited and just happy to see her and, and kind of like coming back home for her. We talk about these teams and what they need to do. Here's Washington's resume, Mary, the 41 net. You see their record, their opponents, strength of schedule. But how strong is the Pac-12 conference when a team like Washington beats 6 and 12 yeah. in 10th place? And we're talking about this game could help them get into the NCAA tournament. <laughs> right? That's how tough it is. It certainly is. You can see those key wins for them. Again, four ranked opponents. 
they were able to knock off. You did that end of season win oh. at Utah on senior day in elevation. Yeah, they were flawless after a very tough and close loss in Boulder just a couple of nights prior. All right, opportunity continues to knock here for UW. Turnover. Got to get it in bounds. Oh, and a tough break as Tina Langley was begging for the timeout. And looking for the official, we'll see. Maybe she was calling for it, and maybe they'll have to review. Nope. They're going to say five-second call instead. So Arizona, the pressure, and a takeaway. 19th turnover for UW. The average is 13 a game on the year. Arizona and their ability to force them is impressive. Help Dave, good takeaway there by Schwartz. Sellers, she'll push. So quick, and the finish. Need to get her going. She was brilliant the first quarter, had seven, had, had five points and just two since then. That takes it up to nine. They need to get her going, Schwartz going, Daniels going. Cuts it to a four point deficit. It was a great read. This feels like that triple overtime. The game just were like back and forth, and oh. once again. Oh, and Pueyo doesn't miss many. It's tipped out, though. Martinez, another chance, can't get it. And it's a 7-0 UW run. Can they add to it? Oh, and a push from behind, and Ladine's going to go to the stripe. This UW bench believes. Sellers. Open floor. Hard crossover. Tough finish over Skylar Jones at six foot. How about that composure by Sellers? She kind of looked one way to see if she had some help and realized, okay, that quick crossover is going to make me the option. Out of Alaska. Yeah. Four-star recruit, number 28 recruit coming in. But how about what she did in high school? 76-0 and 0 record. She doesn't know how to lose. She's not one to lose this one. It's another great Alaskan in the Pac-12 conference, <laughs> and that's Alyssa Peely. Yeah. Going to see her in our next matchup. Two-point ball game, three and a half left. Washington refuses to fold. Hesitation inside, Jada Williams gets it. Feels like when you need it most, that's when she delivers. Her first points of the game. Perfect timing. Ladine. Murdered by Skylar Jones. What a game Jones has had. When Martinez almost a takeaway. Daniels needs some help. Ladine going to give it to her. Left side can't get it. Oh, she got caught underneath just a bit. Couldn't get it to bank in. She wants her fifth rebound. Two and a half remaining. Two possession game. Blakely gets stopped. Jones, not much has stopped her today, but that time just short with Dean, not letting her have it. It's like football, run your best play. You need a score. Daniels, high post, just short. Blakely, it's like a carry. <laughs> I don't blow the whistle. And Sellers out on Blakely. Ah, uh, she, she got one, and she wasn't going to get the second. I'll give the reach in to Sellers. Just her first. And up. we're going to send you to the desk for the Tums game break. Ashley, Elise, and Angela. Lots to go over. What a first day it's been. Get yourselves warmed up, ladies. Minute and a half remaining. Whiskey's need a stop, and they get one. They get something out of it. Daniels, Ladine. Daniels, she gets fouled. Maybe surprised she was so wide open. 
Ladine was pretty close to her in there. Point blank, Daniels misses the shot. It's the opportunity to get to the line. Bow goes against Martinez, her second. Clock stops, that helps. So Daniels to the free throw line. 11 points, trying to add to it, and gets the first. Now the team fouls are, are important. UW, just two team fouls. Arizona, just three team fouls. Yeah. Huskies are gonna have to try to steal and then make some contact, get some both. Two point game. Plenty of time. They were down 50, 39. Clawed their way back. Boyo and Shorts, two of the best in this conference. Huskies need to stop. Help D coming over. And they get it. Daniels with the rebound. Plenty of time remaining. Huskies on an 11-2 run, the last four and a half. Switch on Ladine. Puts Blakely on her, and she's going to try to blow by her. She gets past Martinez. Batted around. It's going to go the other way. Tough break there for Washington, and now they're going to stay at this end. Husky's bench up. They're not giving up on this. Jada Noble cheering her team on. Tina Langley taking a look to see how much time is remaining. There's our game reset. Three timeouts left for Washington. And two for the Wildcats. So trying to take a peek to see whose ball it will be. But you see the team fouls also if the Huskies are going to try to put Arizona to the line. They got to commit a couple more. Daniels kind of reached the hand through. Looks like it's off Daniels. Yep. But what a critical decision by the refs here. Yep. Washington needs possession. It's our Whole Foods Market official review. Melissa Barlow, Anthony Robinson taking a peek. And this game is just what these two teams do. The first one decided by two, 62-60. Drive by Ladine. Can't quite get it to go in. And Daniel's trying to keep it alive. One more peek at it. Whose hand did it touch yeah. last? That's Skyler Jones. Really tricky. Because Jones has her hands up. Daniels is kind of punching it through her hand. So then that is the decision. The officials now Bob Schofield's gone over as well. So in January, it was a two-point game. On February 18th, triple <laughs> overtime. Arizona defeats UW. It was 60-60 at at the end of regulation, 69-69 after the first OT, 77 apiece, second OT, and in the third overtime, Arizona prevails, and it just feels like a rerun again. Yeah, it's just incredible what they've done. So many overtimes, and not only just single overtimes, they've had multiple overtimes this season. So they have made their decision. Arizona ball. Yep. And a timeout called, I believe, by the Wildcats. To decide what they're going to do here. Let's take a look at those two meetings, Mary. We've talked about them this game and how close they were. Back in January in Seattle. Deep three. The block by Daniels. What a beautiful pass. Schwartz with the finish. This one had so much drama. You felt like you were at a Broadway play. 
Schwartz thought she'd won the game. They wave it off. Bay, career high. Bay, more work. <laughs> and getting some love from her teammates. Yeah, finished with 29 in that one. And now the Huskies got to foul quickly, and they do. Fallon Steins is her third. Can you jump the pass? Can you get a steal? If not, you must foul as quickly as possible. They've done a better job at it in this one, and they weren't able to get Playo, but they'll foul Blakely. Team's fourth. Second on Schwartz. Tegan Brown's going to come in for her first minutes of the game, the sophomore out of Sacramento. And another whistle. It's one of those where Puello's just bracing for the foul. <laughs> you know it's coming. Yep. She will go to the stripe. 79% free thrower and broke the season record in this game for Arizona. She's got 97 steals this season. Arizona just two for two from the line in this game. Yeah, just haven't, haven't been able to get there. She gets the first. It's a big one. Can she make it a two possession game? She does. She's got 14. And so the timeout called by Washington. Arizona has just three team fouls, so they don't need to get let Washington get organized. They can kind of gum it up. They can foul them. They can make contact. Just don't foul a shooter. With the four-point lead, but Pueyo has been spectacular in all aspects of this game. Pueyo puts it on the floor, the step through, and then defense to offense. Beautiful pass from Martinez. Dive in the lane. Look, there's Puello. Get your hands out. Be active. Took it away. Jada, now I'm going to give it right back to you, Puello. That was pretty. Pretty play. 14 points, three boards, five assists, five steals, two blocks. That is the Puello line. With 97 steals on the season, a single season record. It's tipped out. It's going to stay with Washington, but I think they might have to take a peek at it to make sure. Washington hasn't hit a field goal in over three and a half minutes. Yeah. And Arizona hasn't scored a field goal in almost three minutes as well. But they had built up enough of a lead and they're just trying to hold on for dear life. Mary, talk a little bit about Tina Langley and what she's been able to do in just three seasons of just reconstructing and kind of changing and making this team her own. And she's so proud of this group, but they've got such a bright future also. Yeah, they just have a great system. She recruits to that system. They're a very positive, energetic group to be around. And it, it's just a blast to cover them. And she has, you know, come to Seattle. She was really sought after by very a lot of high-profile programs. Yeah. And the decision to come as we see who touched it last. Oh. Oh, it's another fun close one for our officials to figure out. Martinez was there trying to tip it off Daniels. The original call was that it would stay with the Huskies, but I won't be surprised if that gets overturned. Yeah, it looked like she might have grazed it off of Daniels' hands. We'll see what they decide upon. Again, the expression game of inches has certainly been the case down the stretch here. Yep. Winner moves on to tomorrow's matchup against two seed USC. One more time. Is it the left hand of Daniels or the right hand of Martinez? Yeah. Yep. It's Arizona. Top break for Washington. Big play by Martinez. She's been huge. Very confident, looking to score big defensively the entire way. Mm -hmm. 
Huskies with full court pressure. And they get the inbound and trying the jump ball. Instead, a foul call and a reach in. Catching Martinez in the mouth, I think. Fallon Brown, her second. And Martinez will go to the line. Fifth year senior out of the Dominican Republic. Started her career at West Virginia. Name to the all pac 12 on mention list. This is the first. And this is if you're Washington, you are just hoping and praying and any good luck thing you've yep. got in your life, you've got it going. <laughs> Gets that one to go. Five point Arizona lead and Tina Langley calls another timeout. So 13 for Martinez. Washington Washington team wants this game this last 20 seconds 20.3 seconds to t last as long as possible so much on the line here's the game reset with Wildcats and the five-point lead each team with one timeout apiece Huskies have put the Wildcats into the bonus This is what is coming up next. How about this matchup at 8.30 Pacific time? Arizona State and Utah. They only met one time in the regular season. But these two, they're going to battle it out. Jalen Brown, a nice addition to the Sun Devils. And then Alyssa Peely, the senior. What a season she's been having. Impressive numbers, especially impressive numbers for Jalen Brown, Mary. Her numbers increase in conference play. How do you do that in the Pac-12? It's tough, and when you look at players across the league, in any league, that just does not happen. But back to the business at hand. Washington needs perfection here. So I'll have that one for you next. Arizona trying to get this clock to, to move. wind down. You're right. And the Huskies doing everything they can to stop it. Right now they need a score. And they need to get the ball impounded. So, They're gonna make a warning for yeah. leaning over the yeah. sideline. Yep. By Blakely. Melissa well, Barlow saying, come on now, you know that. <laughs> Sellers with the inbound. Who can she get it to? She finds Ladeen. They had a big game in their first meeting. They're working in the short side. Yeah. Cuello knocks it out. It stays with the Huskies. They just need to score. It doesn't matter where. No, it doesn't. Yep. Down by five. It's your best option. Steins tried to drop it off instead. There are the outreached hands. Martinez in the high post and Jones. So the Huskies commit the personal and the Wildcats. Blakely will go to the line. Three points for Blakely, the junior. Added to the team this year. Transfer for Middle Tennessee State. Makes it a six-point game. And our thoughts start moving forward to USC. The two seed, and now seven-point lead. Arizona. And a timeout from Tina Langley with seven seconds remaining. Still teaching, still coaching. This incredibly young team, four freshmen coming in this year, no transfers in or out, just the one senior. Take a look at the, seat, the tournament recap earlier. This is how things got kicked off. Five seed Colorado over the Oregon Ducks. They move on, and then the Cal Bears, they played a very good game today. But oh, Lonnie McIntosh, she was, I don't want it to end. <laughs> She was good, smile on her face. They move on. 
knocking off Washington State, last year's tournament champs. But a different team, obviously, you no know, Charlie's Ledger Walker. And I had done so many Arizona games early, and when I saw them again against Amford, mm -hmm. I had no idea who they were. <laughs> they were so cohesive, so selfless, played so well together when they beat Stanford 68 to 61. Just a defining moment in their season. They had so many challenges with players going out, and Cuello knocks that one away. And a foul from behind is going to do it. Cuello, five blocks, three steals, five assists, three rebounds, 14 points. How about that for a line? Just everything. Cookie Monster delivered tonight. <laughs> She certainly was. Martinez gets it. 14 for her. And a great season for Tina Langley in Washington as they continue to build it back. Yep. Made, all, made it all the way to the Fab Four in the WNIT last year. They have high hopes. They were hoping to make the NCAA tournament. And for Adia Barnes and the Wildcats, their hopes stay alive. They move on to the quarterfinals tomorrow for Lauren Schwartz. What a pleasure it has been to be able to watch her play. Cuello's career is going to continue on. And it will be Arizona seven seed against number two USC.